Hello everyone, welcome to the Networking Tutorials in IT Guru 2. This is the walkthrough video for IT Guru Laboratory 5 Introduction to Virtual LAN. So, a broadcast domain is a portion in a network where the devices can transmit data directly to each other without passing through a router device. For example, the image shows single broadcast domain because there is no router that acts as a boundary and that means the devices can transmit data directly to the rest of the devices in the network and this image shows two broadcast domains because of the physical device which is the router acts as the boundary between the two switches so the router physically separates the broadcast domains and every single broadcast domain belongs to the same subnet and gateway, while a virtual LAN is more likely a broadcast domain which logically separates the network. So before VLAN was developed, only routers can separate the traffic physically. And the main concept of VLAN is to segregate the traffic flow of a network without physically grouping the devices in order to belong in the same broadcast domain, just like on the image. Regardless of the workstation or device's physical location, yet have similar identifier then it belongs to the same subnet or the same broadcast domain so the VLAN 10 in switch 1 and 2 is a single broadcast domain and VLAN 20 in switch 1 and 2 is another broadcast domain so there are two VLAN groups or two broadcast domains in this network and as we go along through the laboratory, you will understand further the important settings and switches in order to enable VLAN as well as the benefits of using VLAN in Ethernet network. So for our laboratory scenario, I care more company had acquired a building beside its main building. And the company would like to set up five workstations in each of the three departments, the billing, sales, and tech. However, this time the company requires to separate the application traffic in each department because the billing department is accessing sensitive information and a server in each department will be provided and will be located in main building second floor. So let us find out what happens when we separate the traffic using virtual LAN. Okay, so let us start setting up the network. To do that, open your Opnet IT Guru Academic Edition 9.1 and then click File, click New, choose Project and click OK. The project field type your last name underscore love5 then under scenario name field type 10 mbbs underscore 30 underscore no villain then click ok choose Create empty scenario, then click next. Then choose office for the network scale and click next. For the dimensions, set X to 150 and set Y to 100 and the size should be in meters, then click next. Then select Ethernet for the technologies, then click next, then click OK. Now your black scenario workspace should appear as well as the object palette window. 